I believe in hip-hop. I love it. Listening to hip-hop is often a highlight of my day. It's water in the desert, shelter from the storm, a cell phone charger in a crowded airport. This is a recent love, though, and it's a constant reminder of something else, the value in keeping an open mind. Because I used to hate hip-hop. My oldest brother loved rap before I ever did. He'd play Nelly's latest hits on his plug-in boombox, always taking a great deal of pride in St. Louis's native son. Young me hated it. I thought it was garbage. To me, there was no redeeming factor, nothing about it that seemed worth listening to, so I didn't. That deafness continued to high school, when my junior English teacher finally taught me about what hip-hop had to offer. He talked about its genius, marveled about the genre's storytelling ability, and lifted up rap's legends like constellations in the sky. So I started listening. And that decision has been life-altering, giving me entire new ways of understanding art and life. The music I once despised is now the only thing I listen to. I rejected something I didn't understand, only to love it when I did. It's a lesson that's becoming more familiar. I used to hate sports so much I used our home cable box's parental codes to block ESPN. Now they're a bond, a language I speak with family, friends, and strangers sharing the same fanhood. There's other examples of these 180s, complete movements from hate to love. When I listen to rap, I'm reminded of all of them. A closed mind is the quickest way to a miserable life. Hip-hop for me is a beacon a testament to that value, that belief of keeping my mind open. It means listening and understanding before making a judgment, a value that holds true in every aspect of life. Loving something you used to hate should be a source of pride. It means you've grown and overcome a barrier in understanding. Recognizing these moments in your own life and remembering to always seek them is something I truly believe in.